Welcome to Tally Help videos. In this video, you will understand the process of identifying errors occurred in e-invoicing and resolve them to generate e-invoices seamlessly. The video covers the errors that you can see on the screen and the steps to resolve these errors. Errors in e-invoicing can occur due to reasons such as use of duplicate invoice number or an invoice number starting with zero, a negative value in the invoice or future date in invoice. An error also occurs when the GSTIN of the party or company is invalid due to incorrect format, presence of special characters or other such reasons. In Tally Prime, you can drill down to identify the transactions rejected by e-invoice system or missing invalid information in respective sections of e-invoice report. Now, let us first look at the error that occurs due to duplicate invoice number. Consider that you had generated an e-invoice for a transaction with invoice number. Thereafter, you had to cancel the invoice or you just created a new voucher with the same invoice number. In such a case, when you try to generate e-invoice for the transaction, the e-invoice system rejects it. Open the rejected by e-invoice system in the e-invoice report. Drill down to the transaction with reason for rejection as duplicate IRN. Change the invoice number. Note that you can change the invoice number only when method of voucher numbering is set to manual. Set provide e-invoice details to yes. Remove the duplicate IRN. Press Ctrl A to save. Press Y to generate e-invoice for the transaction and enter your credentials. You do not need to enter the credential for the next 6 hours unless you turn off your computer. As you can see the e-invoice gets generated. The voucher also gets updated with the acknowledgement number and IRN. Now, let us see the error that occurs due to invoice number starting with 0 or forward slash. You may be adding 0 or forward slash as prefix to maintain the number of digits in the invoice number. For example, you may be entering the invoice number as 0245. In such a case, you can enter all other details and try to generate an e-invoice. It will be rejected by the e-invoice system. Open the rejected by e-invoice system in the e-invoice report. Drill down to the transaction with reason for rejection as the field document number must match the regular expression. Remove zero from the invoice number and save the invoice. You can alter the invoice number only when the method of voucher numbering is set to manual in the voucher type master. In case the numbering is set to automatic, you must alter the voucher type master. Under advanced configuration, remove any zero in the starting number field. Set prefill with zero to no. And in case a prefix is configured with zero, remove the same. Save the changes. The voucher number is changed automatically. Send the voucher for e-invoicing. As you can see, the e-invoice gets generated. The voucher also gets updated with the acknowledgement number and IRN. Now, let's have a look at the error that occurs due to a negative value in the transaction. In your business, you may be giving discount to your customers. While recording a sales transaction, when you add the ledger with the rate of discount in negative, the invoice will calculate the discount in negative value. In such cases, when you generate e-invoice, it gets rejected by e-invoice system. This happens because the e-invoice system does not accept the negative values in a transaction. Open the rejected by e-invoice system in the e-invoice report. From the reason for rejection, you can understand that the field accessible amount must be a positive value. 
In such cases, open the discount ledger, press Alt G, Alter Master, Ledger, type or select the name of the ledger and press Enter. Set Is GST applicable to not applicable? Set Include in Accessible Value Calculation as GST, appropriate to both and method of calculation as based on value. Press Ctrl A to save. Thereafter, drill down to the transaction and press Ctrl A to save. Press Y to generate e-invoice. The e-invoice gets generated and the voucher gets updated with acknowledgement number and IRN. Now let's see the error that occurs in an invoice with a future date. While recording an invoice, if you press F2 and enter a future date, even though Tally Prime allows you to record an invoice with a future date, the e-invoice system generates e-invoice only for the transactions with current date or the backdated ones. Open the rejected by e-invoice system in the e-invoice report. The reason for rejection is the document date should not be future date. Now, if you want to generate e-invoice for the same date, you can do it on that date itself. Or if you want to generate e-invoice for today's date or past date, then drill down to the transaction, press F2 and change the date to today's date or past date as needed. Press Ctrl A and press Y to generate e-invoice. Now, it may also happen that the GSTIN of the party or your company is invalid. When you try to generate an e-invoice for a voucher in which either party's or your company's GSTIN UIN is invalid, it will get rejected by the e-invoice system. In such a case, you need to ensure that the GSTIN UINs in the transaction are correct. Press Alt G, Alter Master, Ledger, type or select name of the ledger and press Enter. Press Alt L to get GSTIN UIN info for validation. To know how to do it, you can watch our video Validating GSTIN UIN online using Tally Prime. If the GSTIN is invalid, then enter the correct GSTIN UIN manually. Press Ctrl A to save the ledger. Open the transactions with invalid GSTIN UIN. Check if the GSTIN UIN is updated. If not, enter the correct GSTIN UIN and press Ctrl A to save it. Press Y to generate e-invoice. The e-invoice gets generated. However, if the party GSTIN is valid, then the GSTIN UIN entered in the company must be invalid. In such cases, press F11, set goods and services tax to yes and enter the correct GSTIN UIN. Thereafter, you can generate the invoice for the transaction. Now, you may have given a GSTIN of a regular party to an SEZ party. In such a case, open the ledger, enter the GSTIN UIN of the SEZ party and press Ctrl A to save the ledger. Open e-invoice report and drill down to the rejected by e-invoice system. Drill down to the transaction with the error. Press Ctrl A to re-accept transaction and press Y to generate e-invoice. The e-invoice gets generated. Now the field location must have character count between 3 and 50 characters or the error occurs during e-invoicing. In such a case, press F11, enable goods and services tax under e-invoice applicable Update the bill from place with the location between 3 and 50 characters. In the e-invoice report, drill down to the rejected by e-invoice system. Drill down to the transaction with the error. Set provide e-invoice details to yes. Press F12 and set provide dispatch from details to yes. You can see that the place is updated as per the update under F11 company features. Press Ctrl A to save the screen.
press control A to save the transaction and press Y to generate e invoice the e invoice gets generated now it may happen that you have specified an sac code for a goods item or an hsn code for a service item when you choose goods under type of supply you need to provide hsn code for the good and when you choose service under type of supply you need to provide sac code for the service it may happen that you choose the wrong type of supply in the stock item open the stock item as you can see even though this is a stock item type of supply is services although you have specified the correct hsn code for the stock item but it does not belong to services change the type of supply to goods open e invoice report and drill down to the rejected by e invoice system drill down to the transaction with the error press control a to save the transaction and press y to generate e invoice the e invoice gets generated similarly in a service ledger with sac code of the service if you select goods as type of supply then an e invoicing error occurs you can resolve the error in a similar way now you may also get an invoice rounding error during e invoice generation in some scenario you may be creating a tax ledger but accidentally selected a group such as indirect expenses therefore you also select invoice rounding under type of ledger after realizing that the group should be duties and taxes you change the group and save the ledger However, invoice rounding gets retained in the ledger. When you use the ledger while creating an invoice and try to generate an e-invoice, you get the error related to invoice rounding. In such a case, open the ledger, select indirect expenses as the group and an under type of ledger, select not applicable. Now, change the group back to duties and taxes and save the ledger. open e invoice report and drill down to the rejected by e invoice system drill down to the transaction with the error press control a to re accept transaction and press y to generate e invoice the e invoice gets generated now it may happen that the length of an address line is not between 1 and 100 characters you may enter an address line beyond 100 characters when you copy the complete address in just one line such that it exceeds 100 characters or you may have entered some part of the address that exceeds 100 characters in such cases you get an e invoicing error open the ledger and ensure that the address lines do not exceed 100 characters once you enter the address properly press control a to save the ledger Open e invoice report and drill down to the rejected by e invoice system. Drill down to the transaction with the error. Press enter on the party and in the party details screen you can see that the address is updated. Press control a to re accept transaction and press y to generate e invoice. The e invoice gets generated. The next error is invalid pin code. You might have entered a wrong pin code in your party ledger or your company. For example, the pin code entered may be consisting of only 5 digits or more than 6 digits or it might be blank in your ledger. So, when you try to generate an e-invoice, you get an error that the pin code does not belong to the respective state. Go to the party ledger and change the pin code to the correct 6 digit number. Open e invoice report drill down to the missing invalid information information required for e invoice not provided and press enter drill down to the transaction with the error re accept the transaction by pressing control e as we have corrected the pin code in the ledger the e invoice gets generated it may also happen that you selected a pin code that does not belong to the state
you can resolve the error by entering the correct pin code for the respective state in the party ledger now it may also happen that the party name is not between 1 and 100 characters in some cases the name entered in the ledger may exceed 100 characters you may have entered the party's name along with the company's name such that the length of the name becomes more than 100 characters in such cases when you try to generate an e invoice an error occurs open the ledger and ensure that the name of the party is under 100 characters open e invoice report drill down to missing invalid information information required for e invoice not provided and press enter drill down to the transaction with invalid buyer mailing name party account is updated in the voucher as per the update in the ledger press control a to reaccept transaction and press y to generate e invoice the e invoice gets generated as demonstrated there can be errors during e invoice generation and the transaction gets rejected by the e invoice system but there is nothing to worry as tally prime has got your back tally prime not only helps you identify the errors but you can easily drill down and make corrects then and there thereafter you can generate the invoice afresh